Congresswoman Liz Cheney apologizing to top military officials for what she describes as despicable conduct by her Republican colleagues. Several of them, including those who have tried to obstruct the January 6th probe, went after the top brass, questioning their competence and their commitment to the country. General Milley, on, on January 6th, we had a violent attack on our Capitol. You found yourself in your constitutionally prescribed role standing in the breach. And for any member of this committee, for any American, to question your loyalty to our nation, to question your understanding of our Constitution, your loyalty to our Constitution, your recognition and understanding of the civilian chain of command is despicable. I want to apologize for those members of this committee who've done so, and I want to thank you for standing in the breach when so many, including many in this room, failed to do so. Right, let's talk more about this now with CNN's Dana Bash and Casey Hunt. Uh, what did you think, Casey, of this moment? A pretty uh, remarkable moment. The reality here, I mean, let's just step back and think about it. No person is perfect, but those generals have been, they've served their entire lives for this country. They have put their, they have made those sacrifices. They have spent time away from their families. Uh, and to then be treated uh, this way in this context, uh, I think it was a, a pretty remarkable moment. Uh, from Liz Cheney and important that she stood up uh, and recognized that. I think, you know, big picture uh, for Cheney, I mean, this is clearly the way she's differentiating herself from Republicans. We know she's got to win her House race, but it's possible she's setting herself up for a potential uh, presidential bid in 2024, or at least a bid to stop the former president uh, from going forward. But uh, she's the only one talk speaking this way in the Republican Party right now. The questioning of their commitment to the country, mm -hmm. you know, I think that's where it sounds like that's what really chafed her. Absolutely. And it's and it's understandable, like Casey said. I mean, these are our generals, our officers, our members of the United States military who are following um, the, the Constitution, which is civilian rule and it is civilian run. And it is it was the commander in chief who was democratically elected who made the decision to pull out of Afghanistan. And now we know more about what happened at the end of the Trump administration, that General Milley didn't go around the chain of command. He went within the chain of command. I want to change gears here, switch switch gears, change, whatever. Okay, we're, we're doing something. <laughs>